And we're back with more Mind Jack Adventure. And we're back. All right, so let's synopsize what happened last time. Well, we were in a warehouse and we we're making our way to an, an elevator. Huh? Uh, certain events transpired. Somebody got hit with a newspaper. I'm not sure who. And uh, our friendship grew stronger. It did. Okay. In the game. In the game. Not no. in real life. No. We've, we've never been more divided. Exactly. This game is really driving us apart, but that's what we do for the taster. So, DM, Dungeon Master Anthony. Your elevator descends deep, deep into the core of the earth. Soon. I guess not so soon. It takes a little while. Several minutes. Imagine, like, the, uh, the, the Mass Effect loading screen elevators. It's getting hot in here, Lyle. I awkwardly stand there and don't acknowledge the monkey. The, Whew. the door. Really hot. I don't know. I take out a little fan. I look at my cell phone. I used a little fan on my face. The door is open, and you're greeted with a voice. Lyle, Pop Pop, I was expecting you. Wow, that's scary, Lyle. You hear that? I didn't know I was invited. Suddenly, all the lights turn on. You're in a bright white room. Looks like an operating suite. There are carcasses of animals everywhere. What kind of animals? Monkeys, badgers, even the most deadly animal, humans. Oh my god, he's killing monkeys and humans. That's like us. Wow. You see that, Lyle? It really brought it home for me. You see the source of the voice. It's an automatic man. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Not an automatic man. He is. I don't even know what that means, Lyle. <laughs> he is both flesh and robot. He is a cyborg. But what makes him automatic? Does I, he do, like do things like? I was going for automaton, but I. Fucked I like it up. automatic man. So I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna say with automatic man. Okay, I, like I an automatic garage door opener. <laughs> I pretend to know what an automatic man is to try and impress the monkey. It's an automaton. I scratched one of the big, large bumps on my head from Lyle <laughs> hitting me at the newspaper. I ain't never seen no automatic man. He makes his way towards you. His weapons are lowered. I knew you'd make it through those peons, he said. I knew I could trust you too. This is a Nurkis testing facility. They've created all sorts of atrocities in the name of science, hoping to enslave both man and beast. Nurkis testing facility? Are you sure this isn't a driver's license testing facility? The doors on the elevator open up, and behind you appears a squad, a squad of... Squawkers. Squawkers. A squawker squad. A squawker squad. A squad of squawkers. You two, you have one final choice. You can either side with me and destroy this abomination of a facility, or you can side with FIA and Nurkus and try and destroy me, but you will be unsuccessful, <laughs> he says. All right, so we could either side with this guy. What is his political party? I just want to know his platform before I side with him. He's an anti-GMO uh, liberal. GMO, is that an ape thing? <laughs> it means it's not genetically modified food. <laughs> oh, I like those because I'm a cyber ape. What do you think of Lyle? All right. <laughs> I pick up the monkey and I throw him at the... <laughs> No, don't do that. <laughs> I throw him at the big boss. It's too heavy. I've been, I've been benching. Okay, uh, roll, to, roll to do it. Oh, death. <laughs> Critical <laughs> failure. It fall on him. <laughs> you tried to pick up the monkey, but he's too greasy from all the bananas he's been eating. <laughs> you gotta get more tofu bananas. Okay. I, I see all the guys behind me, mm -hmm. and I, I nodingly, you know, smirk. Mm -hmm. And I say... You knowingly smirk or you noddingly smirk? He noddingly smirks. <laughs> I noddingly smirk. Okay. I fart. <laughs> oh, great. Roll the roll the fart. You better oh my God. It's gonna it's gonna be good. It'll work <laughs> out. Uh oof. Well, uh you, you, that was that was a perfect failure. So you, you try to fart, but you just you just don't have to fart right now. So <laughs> you'd have less potassium in your diet. <laughs> You've got another action. I fart again. Great. Yes. <laughs> wow. Uh, a fart. The most human of all actions. <laughs> you succeed critically in rolling a one. 
several of the squawkers are wearing gas masks, but two of them are not. They turn around and instantly vomit. <laughs> See? I told you it'd work yeah. out, Lyle. Lyle, you still have one action left. I I I stand up and in between <laughs> the monkey I just tried to throw at the boss and the boss. Greasy and monkey. The greasy monkey. And I try I give a speech to the boss and I try to tell him that doesn't the fart, as you said, our dungeon master, yeah. make him more human than anything else? And this one simple action, doesn't it show that the two societies can live in harmony? The Nurkus, the FIA, and the, the data loops? Do I roll? Yeah, like, roll for I, it. I have a single tear roll down my cheek. Seven. Unfortunately, the boss is unmoved. <laughs> Not me. That was touching. That was touching as all hell. Well, just wait for it. Pop, pop. You got this ape crying. We've got one more surprise in store. The boss is unmoved. He looks at you and says, You see? You see what these, atro these the atrocities that Nurkis has committed have created? And just then, Pop Pop's father bursts through <laughs> oh, the... Oh, no, Daddy. Oh, my God. <laughs> bursts out of one of the, uh, the operating tables. Pop Pop Senior. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. And he is... Furious. Oh. I, I, you know, I'm sorry I couldn't play football, Dad. I'm sorry I got into drugs. He's my dad. I gotta go to him. Oh, no. It's a coming of age story. I climb on my dad's back. Okay, you move towards your father. I attempt to climb on his back. You attempt to climb on his back, but he doesn't appear to recognize you. <gasps> oh, oh, no. Don't you recognize me, Pop Pop? It's your son, Pop Pop. <laughs> He tries to brush you aside with his powerful ape fists and does so. Oh no, you're knocked prone, even though you can't go prone. You're knocked over. Oh no. Your 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 ears are ringing. Little flying bananas are circling your head. <laughs> Seems like um, the Nurkis team isn't quite sure what to do. They're not <laughs> quite sure what side you're on. Most of them are vomiting. <laughs> so they're going to go attack... Uh, the robot and his this newly appeared ape, as they seem to be the most credible threats. <laughs> this is a, a crazy twist. It is. Oh no! Several of the the Nurkus squawkers they fire into your pop pop. Oh no! They appear to have hurt him quite badly. No! He screams in rage. Pop uh, pop. The other two ineptly fire at the. Uh, at the mechanical man, but they seem their Autom shots automatic man. They're the automatic <laughs> man, but their shots appear to be deflected. <laughs> I reach behind my back, <laughs> and what do I pull out? But a newspaper, and I said, "You can't say I didn't try, Pop Pop." And there's a nearby precipice, and so I lean over it and I fall backwards down. <laughs> And I say, this is just the beginning, Pop Pop. <laughs> and as I fall over the edge, I throw the newspaper in the air to my downed Pop Pop. That's an eight. <laughs> well, normally that would have failed, but because that's such a cinematic action, we're going to give you your plus one bonus. I mean, normally that would still fail, but because that was so cool, we're going to say it succeeds. <laughs> Unfortunately, the precipice was just a step up, so <laughs> you fall onto the second tier of the laboratory floor. Uh, but you are knocked prone. And um, now, now, did he throw the newspaper to hit me or to <laughs> for me to use? You don't know yet. <laughs> you don't know. You're knocked over. Are you gonna? You notice the paper flying towards you. It's a high spiraling throw. Uh, I consider opening the paper comically for a moment. And reading it mm -hmm. and saying, oh, they can't win. They can't tackle. They can't score a touchdown worth a dang. But I don't do that. I take the paper. I hold it tighter than any monkey has ever held a paper. And I slap my pop pop over the head. <gasps> you succeed. Oh, yeah. You did. It, 
the red in your Pop-Pop's eyes instantly fades. Did he just barf out a spirit? A spirit is ejected forcefully from his body. I'm still asleep on the second step. Lyle, did you see that? He turns to you and says, son, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be in rehab. <laughs> I got out, dad. I got out and I kept fighting for you. I've never been more proud. Thanks, dad. He turns to the robotic man. Automatic man. The automatic man. <laughs> and crushes him. <laughs> with his giant monkey fists. <laughs> the automatic man is no longer automatic, nor is he manual. He has been defeated. One of the squawkers takes aim at you. Oh no. <gasps> it's a critical hit. <laughs> oh no. Your father realizes the peril that you're in and jumps in front of the bullet. It pop, hit, pop, no. It hits his massive bulk. <laughs> and he lies silent in front of you. Your, your father lies bloody and beaten at your feet. A squad full of stock squawkers stands in front of you. Lyle, realizing that he hasn't fallen off a great height, <laughs> <laughs> comes back into consciousness. It's both of your turns. What do you do? I remark, and I say, what's going on here? <laughs> That's how I spend my turn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, sometimes I wonder, Lyle, which one of us is the monkey? <laughs> the two the two squawkers that were vomiting wipe, wipe, their, mouth. wipe their mouths and appear to get back into the fight. They split their fire between the two of you. <laughs> oh no. Wait, I'm a Nurkus employee. <laughs> You're an FIA employee, my man. I haven't been to double agent for Nurkus. They don't I, know I that yet because this is, <laughs> yes, they do. This is either a prequel or a sequel. Oh, this is baloney. Or you could just like let them know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I shout out before they shoot me. Wait, I'm a double twice over agent. And I'm a monkey. <laughs> Several of their hits right home. You guys are, are stunned. <laughs> what do you do? Do you yell out and let them know that you're a twice over agent? Oh, what's going on with dad here? What's going on with Pop Pop? <laughs> he dead. He's, he's bleeding out in front of you. Oh. Maybe he's ripe to be mind jacked. I mind jack him. <gasps> Sins of the father. Oh, wow. Now the son is truly the master of the father. You enter your father's brain. I say, wow, I can get used to this. <laughs> this is spacious. Is that a hot tub? Images, in brain. images of your father and your mother's first date flash before your eyes. I instantly want to be mind jacked out. <laughs> <laughs> Scenes not appropriate for any son to see of his father. But I stay in there because I know what must be done. What do you do? I turn around slowly. I breathe in a giant breath of air. Fill my belly up. And I fart. The biggest fart that's ever been blasted. Roll for it. It's a success. Oh. <laughs> he successfully <laughs> farted. The gas mask, they're blown off the squawkers' faces. <laughs> they're instantly incapacitated. Lyle, roll to hold your lunch down. Three. Lyle somehow manages to to hold his gag reflex. That's from me farting all the time in the car when we go on long road trips, Lyle. True. Remember the one time we traveled across the country to see the world's biggest ball of yarn? All of the squawkers are incapacitated. <laughs> you jack out of your father. He says, I did it all for you, son. Your father collapses. Presumably dead. All the squawkers are incapacitated. It's just you. Dad. And Lyle. All right. I, I mourn my father's loss for a moment. And then I mind jack into the soldier on the farthest end. Okay. Nurka soldier. Sure. I want to fall over into the next one like a domino. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go for it. Yes. You fall like you've never fallen before. Metal on metal. Futuristic. Hard plastic armor stuff on futuristic plastic hard armor stuff. 
please don't break my miniatures. <laughs> <laughs> they all fall like the dominoes you suggested they were. Realistically, they're not that much worse off than they were previous. <laughs> but now, not only are they smelling terrible smells, but they're also <laughs> knocked over. <laughs> Lyle, it's your action. What do you do? Uh, I check to see if my keys are still on me. While your keys are still on you, you've got one more action. What do you do? <laughs> I check my phone. <laughs> see what's up. <laughs> you've received several new messages while you're in the <laughs> in the facility. I wonder for, who they were from. For some reason, you have better reception underground than you did on top. I look over that they're dead monkey, and I wonder <laughs> if maybe it can be donated to a food shelter. <laughs> That's my pop pop. <laughs> pop pop, you're up. I find a mop and I try to mop up the Nurkis soldiers. Using your immense monkey strength, <laughs> you find a huge mop. R right across from them, there's a huge incinerator. <laughs> Don't do it, they have families. You're right. I decide to not mop up the soldiers. <laughs> I say, you want to let them live so much? You mop them up. <laughs> and I give the mop to Lyle. I, say, I cross not, my arms. I'm not doing your dirty work. <laughs> I push the mop back to him. I beat my chest. <laughs> suddenly. <laughs> suddenly, your dungeon master is forced to move this along. <laughs> you hear a countdown. This, va <laughs> this facility will explode. In T minus four minutes. Uh, we have plenty of time. You realize that the elevator took three minutes to get down. <laughs> is that a, is that a giant window? And are we on top of a mountain? No, <laughs> <laughs> quite the opposite. We're at the center of the earth. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. All right, so this is gonna explode. It's gonna explode in three minutes or four minutes. Take right. three minutes to get up the elevator. I got a plan. All right. Well, first, we, first things first. Let's lug these guys over our shoulders and put them in the elevator with us. Okay. <laughs> so that they takes, don't die. Takes forty-five seconds. Okay. Okay. Now what I do is I check all their wallets. <laughs> <laughs> you can check them on the elevator. And I say, oh, this one's got an Applebee's coupon. And I, I pluck that and put it in my breast monkey pocket. Okay. <laughs> You're running out of time. You're running out of time. All right. And now I, I, I cut open my dad. Oh my god. His belly. That's terrible. Right? Yeah, That's sure. Success. Okay. And, then, and I say, hey, Lyle, climb inside this bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just get in. Okay. I don't care if it smells. <laughs> All right, you, you, cl you climb in the corpse of your father. <laughs> this is like the time we were caught in a water cooler. Or uh, a freezer, I mean. We were caught in a freezer. <laughs> It was like the time we were caught in a freezer. Why are we in this monkey? I got a plan. We just wait the timer out now. So you proceed <laughs> to wait the timer out. Lyle. Wait, I remember. I remember something. I jump out of the corpse and I hit the elevator up. Okay. And I write on these guys. I say, see doctor. <laughs> so That's you're a good plan. You're on the elevator. Get back in here now. No, no, I hit it. Okay. And then I jump out. Okay. And I go back into the monkey corpse. You, you, you get inside and cover the... <laughs> Fold down the last <laughs> flap of skin. <laughs> right as the alarm goes off, the facility explodes. Oh my god. Molten hot lava begins streaming into the facility. Luckily, Pop Pop is more metal than man now. And the Making him less buoyant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and the lava begins carrying him and you upwards. Out of the facility. See, Lyle, I told you. Will Pop Pop hold together? Will our friends Lyle and Pop Pop make it out of the facility alive? Uh, yes. Yeah, that yeah. will. Sure. And that will end our adventure. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what an wow, ending. Wow, we learned a lot. This is just like the time we hang glided over the Alps. Lyle, I couldn't have done it with a better friend. <laughs> well, that, that's the uh, that's the end of the adventure, guys. Do, do we have fun? Yeah. It's fun. I learned a lot yeah. about uh, the D&D &D multiverse mm -hmm. and Mind Jack. I don't see why people always hating on the D&D. &D. It was a lot of fun. There was farts. There was a lot of farts. Yeah, you Bananas. Guys, you guys went through a lot of classic D&D &D tropes. Oh, tell yeah. <laughs> now, I was, I was using those tropes when I was 12, but, you know, that's oh, it's yeah. about par for the course. Oh, man. I didn't realize we were D&D &D hack and slashers. Hacks. <laughs> 
your D and D hacks. Ugh, you got half of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so D and D tropes are like farting and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Wow, that's messed up. I didn't realize that was a thing. Now you know. Now you know. Well, I, I'm glad I could could guide you on this adventure. Um, I, I hope you had fun. I hope uh, I hope the tasters had a lot of fun. Well, thank you, Anthony. And this concludes mine, Jack. Wow, we did it. Never to be revisited again because it was so much fun. You don't want to. Uh, this was better than the actual game. I think you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> the narrative, at least. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I tried to tell a story. AI was. Eh.